5 Cratius Convict Reactions to a Life Sentence Sentence to life imprisonment is a lot to take in and getting one for yourself. Well, it makes you go crazy and makes you reconsider every life choices you ever made, while your loved ones sit there with tears knowing that you'll never make it home again. From begging and crying to being your mouth tape, here are 5 Cratius Convict Reactions when they were sentenced to life imprisonment starting with number 5. Anthony Rodriguez, robbed, kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and dragged 25-year-old women into the bathroom. Anthony was just 18 when he did this all that too when he was on his parole. He was previously arrested for violence. He was quiet the entire time during his hearing but started talking directly to the judge when he was sentenced to a life imprisonment. While he was crying, he complained that the results of the case was unfair and his family felt he wasn't given a fair chance and that life imprisonment was too harsh as a sentence. Number 4. Ryan Stone What would you say to the judge when you are given life imprisonment? You'll beg and cry. Ryan asked the judge to give him a break. Well, can't say really what he meant. But as I tell you about him right now, he has more than 150 years left to complete his sentence. Yeah, you heard that right. Ryan was sentenced to 160 years of imprisonment for multiple charges including a lengthy car chase with the officers, attempted manslaughter, child abuse, and car theft. During that 19-minute chase, he stole multiple cars, crashed with a lot of other cars, abducted a child before being arrested. When the judge gave the decisions, he was tearful, blamed drugs, while his family said he had a drug problem and that he didn't remember much of the chase. While trying to look troubled instead of violent, it didn't change the court's decision. What's even more shocking is he demanded to be paid the profit earned by the chase video uploaded on YouTube. He was also seen mimicking a video game to a female visitor. Number 3. Erica May Butts and Shanita Latrice Cunningham An absolute chaos and full of drama is what we can call this court case. Erica and Shanita were imprisoned for life for killing a 3-year-old girl. What's even sadder is that they were godmothers to that child and best friends of her mom. Both beat the little girl with plastic containers and belt and the only part of her body which was left untouched was her feet. While being sentenced to life imprisonment, both the convicts collapsed in the courtroom and were taken out of the rooms by officer in a chair while they also tried to make Erica slow down her breathing. At the same time, three staff members also took Erica's mother out of the room as she was shouting when Erica collapsed in the courtroom. Number 2. Franklin Williams Mouth tape in his own hearing that's Franklin Williams for you folks. This 32-year-old man was accused of three armed robberies and couldn't keep his mouth shut, even when the judge gave him multiple warnings. He even interrupted his own attorney and it was a matter of time until the judge did something about it. So he was mouth taped until told to speak. Well, stubborn as hell, he kept mumbling. Though when the video went viral, the world didn't react well making the judge apologize for his actions and that the judge felt that the courtroom discipline and order weren't maintained during the trial which made him take that step. Number 1. Michael Madison While giving a victim impact statement, many convicts show remorse and guilt. Michael gave an evil smile which was enough for the victim's father to throw himself over him and try to hit him. Well, it wouldn't have been satisfying if the victim's father gave Michael a good hit. Michael was sentenced to death for multiple murders and kidnapping. He murdered three people and wrapped their bodies in a garbage bag. He was quiet during the entire hearing and depicted a behavior which didn't show any kind of guilt or remorse. Even though he had an abusive childhood, it was not justified for the crimes he committed. Judge said that life imprisonment is too small a punishment for criminals like him. Judge even said that the death penalty are for people like Michael who are the worst. While we saw every type of reactions, some showed guilt and remorse and shock of what they did. There were some who laughed at the face of the victim's family which could be so triggering. Which of the reactions shocked you the most? Comment below.